You know they're heroes, heroes don't they? Well, from maritime history to aviation history now, and the West Country has a proud history in the world of aviation. Concorde, of course, famously built here, and Europe's biggest hot air balloon festival is also held here each summer. But now we can claim another aviation record, this time for altitude by a paper plane. Steve Daniels was part of the team who has flew a plane at a massive 17 miles up. Ellie Louise Ringe has more. Throwing a paper plane to the edge of space may have been slightly overambitious. Instead, the team used a weather balloon to launch it at such a height, it landed them straight in the record books. But how high did it go? Well, to give you some idea, Mount Everest stands at 29,000 feet. A normal passenger plane reaches an altitude somewhere in the region of 35,000 feet. But the team's paper creation took flight at just under 90,000 feet. Steve Daniels from Paynton was part of the record-breaking team. He tracked the plane using a tiny transmitter from the launch site in Spain. And the Spanish pretty quickly put, picked up on the fact there was a balloon flying. We had some pretty nice messages off them. And actually some of them turned up to, to help launch and help retrieve. And it, it's, there was a bit of a communication issue because I don't speak Spanish and most of them didn't speak English. But, uh, we, you know, there was sort of hand signals. You see the balloon. As Steve spoke to the West Country tonight, he was able to track a similar weather balloon as it flew high over Switzerland. He used exactly the same system to keep an eye on the paper plane and its launch balloon. When they landed in separate places, but both of them were within about 100, well, I say road, it was more, of a, more tracks than roads, but considering where they could have landed, you know, in, in mountains, etc., we were very, very fortunate where they did. And it was, uh, they were quite easy to retrieve. Record attempts usually have to be verified on the spot but Steve is delighted his system helped win recognition. It's, uh, it's quite nice actually we weren't, weren't really expecting that because we didn't have any uh, any Guinness World Record people with us you know but then then because it was tracked by so many people um, it was pretty difficult to pretend that we haven't done it. The two other members of the team are from the technology news website, The Register. They've put full details on there, along with their design for the drinking straw space frame plane. But they can't bask in the glory of their victory for too long. There are already another two teams working hard to try to top their record. Ellie Louise Ringe for the West Country tonight. Children across the West Country trying to make that plane tonight. Not just children. <laughs> uh, grey day today. Bob, what's it going to be like tomorrow? Uh, for the Gold Cup, yes. Uh, for